First on CNN, there are some new revelations that are raising troubling questions about a high-profile Republican candidate in next year's U.S. Senate election in Georgia. Herschel Walker is a college football legend, as well as a friend of former President Donald Trump. Here's CNN's senior investigative correspondent, Drew Griffin. He is often called the greatest college football player of all time. In the state of Georgia, he is a legend. As a University of Georgia running back, Herschel Walker won the national championship and the Heisman Trophy. Now, at 59 years old, Walker is running in a whole new game. My name is Herschel Walker, and I'm running for the United States Senate. As a Republican who is close friends with former President Donald Trump. I've known Donald Trump for 37 years, and I don't mean just casual ran into him from time to time. I'm talking about a deep personal friendship. But new allegations are surfacing about Walker's troubled past, detailed in this police report from Irving, Texas in 2002, which CNN obtained through a records request. A woman telling police she was very frightened of Walker, that he had previously been calling her, making threats to her, and having her house watched. And when she saw him at a resort that day, he jumped into his vehicle and followed her all the way to her house. The woman contacted by CNN asked not to be identified and said she never dated Walker, but is friends with his ex-wife. It's the latest revelation of similar incidents involving Herschel Walker, though he's never been charged with a crime. I was very sad. I was angry, and I didn't understand why. Walker has previously linked his behavior to a mental illness called dissociative identity disorder, telling CNN's Dr. Sanjay Gupta in 2008 that he has fragments of alternate personalities or alters that take over. You can get angry, but the anger that you can go out and really, really uh, hurt someone. And that's when you know you got a problem. Walker wrote a book about it in 2008 with some chilling passages, including one where he talks about thinking of murdering a man who was late delivering a car. <laughs> All I could think was how satisfying it would feel to squeeze the trigger the visceral enjoyment I'd get from seeing the small entry wound and the spray of brain tissue and blood like a 4th of July firework exploding behind him. You played Russian roulette? Yeah, I played Russian roulette before and stuff, and, and then more than once. He said he was sharing his story to remove the stigma of mental health. And in a sign of support, his ex-wife joined him on media appearances for his book and confirmed she, too, had been a target of Walker's frightening personalities. He held the gun to my temple and said he was going to blow my brains out. But a few years before that interview, Walker's ex-wife, Cindy Grossman, got a protective order against him. Her sister submitted an affidavit saying he stated unequivocally that he was going to shoot my sister Cindy and her boyfriend in the head. In another incident in 2012, a police report shows a woman who was involved in an on-off, on-off type relationship for decades with Walker said he told her that he was going to come and sit outside her apartment and blow her head off when she came outside. He then told he was going to blow his head off after he killed her. In a statement, Walker's campaign said Herschel emphatically denies these false claims about the 2012 incident. On the other reported threats, Herschel has been very open about his mental health journey. Since getting help, Herschel has dedicated his life to helping others. Wolf, except for some puffball interviews on Fox, Herschel Walker has been mostly inaccessible in his early campaign. It's not clear if these issues will become an issue in the Republican primary. His challengers along with him are trying to figure out how to delicately go on the attack against this beloved Georgia football star whose biggest supporter also happens to be Donald Trump. Wolf? 